Module 3, Lesson 11. Objective, connect the area model and the partial products method to the standard algorithm. So this time we're going to use area model, partial products, and standard algorithm, and we're going to connect all three of these. Let's say the vocabulary together. Factor times factor equals product. Area model. Partial product. Standard algorithm. Place value. So these are the three that we're going to be working on today, and we're going to be connecting and showing how all of these relate together. Let's start off by multiplying 234 times 8. So we know if we break this number up into expanded form, we would have 200 plus 30 plus 4. And we're going to take all of these numbers and multiply them by 8. Remember, to find the area of a rectangle, you need to multiply length times width. So basically, you'll be taking 8 times 200, 8 times 30, and 8 times 4, and then adding all of those together. Let's start off with 200 times 8 will give me a product of 1,600. 30 times 8 will give me a product of 240. And finally, 8 times 4 will give me a product of 32. Two different ways you can set this up. Number one, you could simply show your 8 parentheses, 200 plus 30 plus 4, and all this means is 8 times all of this together. Another way you could set it up is showing each one separately. 8 times 200 plus 8 times 30 plus 8 times 4, and then add all of these together. Let's go ahead and solve for each problem. 8 times 200 would give me a product of 1600. Next, we multiply 8 times 30, which would give me a product of 240. And then finally, we multiply 8 times 4, which would give me a product of 32. Now that I have all of my partial products, I need to add these together to get a final product of 1,872. Let's go ahead and solve this problem using partial products now. So we start in our ones place and we multiply 8 times 4 which will give me 32. Next we move to our tens place. 8 times 3 tens will give me a product of 24 but we're in our tens place so it's 24 tens which would be 200 40. And then finally we move to our hundreds place, 8 times 2 hundreds, so 8 times 2 is 16, so we have 16 hundreds, which would be 1600, or 1600. Add all of those together, and you get a final product of 1872. Now let's solve 4 times 316 using our area model. Remember the formula for area is area equals length times width. Let's start out with 316 on top, and we're going to multiply 316 times 4. First, we need to break this up into expanded form, so that would be 300 plus 110 plus 6 ones, and then we multiply each one of those by 4. Alright, start out in our hundreds, 4 times 3 hundreds equals 12 hundreds. Next we move to our tens, 4 times 110 equals 4 tens, or 40. And then finally we multiply 4 times 6 which equals 24 ones. Now that we have all of our partial products, we need to go ahead and add those together and we get a final sum of 1,264. Two different ways to view this are four parentheses, add all these together, multiply it times four. Another way to look at it would be to write each one out, four times 300, four times 10, and then finally four times six. 
4 times 300 is 1,200. 4 times 10 is 40, and 4 times 6 is 24. Now let's look at why we have 24 in our 1's place, but we only have 4 here. And we have 40 in our 10's place, but we have a 6 in our 10's place. And we have 1,200. 1,200 is correct. Remember, you can only have one digit in your 1's place. So if you group two groups of 10, you can move them over here, which would turn this 40 into a 60 and leave you with four 1's. And that is shown down here. We grouped two groups of 10 and moved them over here. Now instead of four groups of 10, we have six groups of 10. So that is how we end up with 1,264. Now let's use the standard algorithm to solve this problem. 316 times 4. Start out in your 1's place. 4 times 6 is 24. So you put your 4 in your 1's place and you carry your 2 above your 10's place. Now 4 times 110 would be 40 and then you have 2 more 10's which would make that 60. So you put your 6 in your 10's place and of course your 0 would be here so this would remain 4. And then finally 4 times 3 is 12 or you could say 4 times 3 hundreds is 12 hundred. Finally, let's solve a real world problem using all three methods. A cafeteria makes 4,408 lunches each day. How many lunches are made Monday through Friday? So box in what it's asking us to do, how many and underline the question, lunches are made Monday through Friday. So you have to ask yourself, how many days is Monday through Friday? That would be five days. So I'm going to go ahead and write five out here to the side and circle it. Now I know that they make 4,408 lunches each day. So if they make these on Monday, then on Tuesday they'll make this many. On Wednesday they'll make this many. On Thursday they'll make this many. And on Friday they'll make this many. So now I have to figure out how many lunches are made Monday through Friday. So you're taking this number and multiplying it by 5. First, we'll use area model to solve this problem. So we're going to break apart 4,408 into ex expanded form. So 4,408 would be 4,000 plus 400 plus 8. And I'm going to multiply each one of those by 5. So 5 times 4 would be 20 thousands. Then 5 times 4 would be 20 hundreds. And then finally, 5 times 8 would be 40 ones. Now I have all of my partial products, so I need to add those together to get my final product. I'll show it down here as 5 times 4,000 plus 400 plus 8. You can also see it as 5 times 4,000, 5 times 400, and 5 times 8 ones. So I know that there were 22,040 lunches made on all three days. Remember, always restate your question when you write your answer out. 22,040 lunches were made Monday through Friday. Now let's look at this problem in partial products. 4,408 times 5. Start out in our 1's place. 5 times 8 will give me a product of 40. So You can see this is our 40 here, and we have our 40 here. Next, move to our 10's. 5 times 0 would be 0. So there's no need to write anything for our tens as we don't have anything here for our tens. Next, move to our hundreds. 5 times 4 hundreds would be 20 hundreds or 2,000. Here's our 2,000 and here's our 2,000. And then finally, 5 
times 4 thousands would be 20 thousands. Or you can just say 20 thousand. Now we have all of our partial products. Add those together to get our final product of 22,040. Finally, let's look at our standard algorithm. 4,408 times 5. Start out in our ones place, 5 times 8 will give me 40. So we carry the 4 to the tens place and we put a 0 in the ones place. Next, we are doing 5 times 0, which would be 0. But then we have the 4 left over, so we have 4 tens in the tens place. And then next, we move to our hundreds. 5 times 4 hundreds would be 20 hundreds. Or you, you cannot put a 20 in one place, so you carry the 2 to the thousands place and put a 0 in the hundreds place. And then finally you multiply 5 times 4 which would be 20 and then add your 2 and you're left with 22. So put a 2 in the thousands place and a 2 in the ten thousands place. So now that we have our final product of 22,040.